Hi, I'm Josh Fitzpatrick. I'm one of the associate pastors here at First Methodist Richardson, and tonight I get to read to you this book, The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say, no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, blork, wait, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf. Wait, wait a second. What? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a glug, glug, glug? My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No? There are more pages? I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Bottom. Boo Boo Bottom. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know how this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds. Like, oh, oh no, oh no. Here it comes. Glurgawako, magrumfadu, ay, 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 brug, 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 oomph, eef, blackity, blackity, glibbity, glabbity, glibbity, glibbity, beep, pop, ee, badungi face. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. Uh, I didn't want to say that. The end. <laughs> Isn't that the greatest book ever? <laughs> Thank you for sharing this special time with me and your family. Now let's say a prayer before we end our time together. Good and gracious God, giver of love and light, bless our family when we're together and when we're away. Help us look for ways to help each other, to serve each other, and to love each other in all that we say and do. Thank you for Jesus and the stories he told. May we use all of the stories we hear as a way to know you and your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Before you end your family time together, be sure to bless each other. You are blessed to be a blessing. Good night and sweet dreams.